Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to add double-digit numbers with A100 bead abacus. If you've just watched the video on how to add single-digit numbers with A100 bead abacus, you're in the right place. Let's get started right, of, right away. Double-digit addition is really similar to single-digit, but instead of only one place, you have two. So let's get started right away. We're going to try 24 plus 12. So like we did in single digit, we're gonna form the first number first. And let's go 24, there's our 24, and we're gonna add 12. So you can tell here really easily that we have 24, two beads, four beads, plus 12, 12 beads, one bead, two beads. So then we slap those two together and write, I'm going to write down the number. You, If you can tell what it is from here, you can just put it on your answer sheet or wherever you have to put it. But I'm going to write it down. It is 3, 6. So our answer is 36. And our abacus should end up looking like this. All right, so that one wasn't too tricky. We'll try another one. We're going to try 56 plus 37. Again, we'll start by forming the first number. 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 5, 56. We now have 56 and we've got to add 37 to it. So because I have 7 in the ones place, I'm going to add 7 yellow beads to the bottom. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to write down the number 4 because we'll need to remember that for later. In the corner of my paper, I can move one ten bead over because one bead from the ten row, tens row, the greens row, equals ten yellow beads. So if I move one green bead over, I can move the ten yellow beads back. This principle applies anywhere on the abacus. So even up here, ten yellow beads equals one green bead. Or this would be our millions row. One million equals ten one hundred thousands. And the same up here, 1 billion equals 10 100 millions. So that's just the principle. Now we have to go back to our bottom because we needed to get to 7, but we left off at 4. So let's go 4, and I'm going to count up to 7. 5, 6, 7. Now we're almost done. We just have to add 3 tens beads because we have a 3 in our tens place. 1, 2, 3. And so now this gives us the answer to 56 plus 37. I'm going to write it down. If you don't have to, you don't have to, but it is very helpful to write it down. So I would 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 3. So our answer we have found is 93. This is what your abacus should look like. And this up here in this corner was my notes when we moved up to the tens row. All right, let's try one more before I give you a couple sample problems to try on your own. Let's do, I've got a good one, 75 plus 46. Again, we're going to start by forming the first number in the equation, which is 75. 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we now have 75, and we have to add 46. So I'm going to count off beads in the ones row. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, I will write down the number five on my sheet of paper so I can remember it for later. Again, like we did in the last problem, we're going to move one ten bead over and move the ten ones back because one green bead, one bead from the row above equals ten, row, ten beads from the row below. So now we have the same thing, just it looks so slightly different. All right, so we left off at five and we have to get to six. So five, six. Now I finished our ones place, we have to go up to the tens place. Now let's start, we need to put four in the tens place. So let's go one, two, I'm gonna cross off my five here and write down two so I don't get them mixed up. And now, like I said before, we can do this up here with the hundreds and tens row. So one 100 bead equals 10 10 beads. If we move these back, this over. We have the same thing, just now we have more tens we can move back over. All right, so we left off at two and we have to get to four, so let's go three, four. 
This one's a little easier to tell, so you wouldn't necessarily have to write it down, but I'm going to because it is helpful too for later problems. So I'm going to write down our answer that we got. And the answer I got was 121. Your abacus should look something like this, and you can see my notes in the corner up here. Now that I've showed you how to do a couple, I'm going to give you some sample problems to try. There will be 10 seconds of break between the problem and the answer, but if you need more time, please pause the video and don't just move on and see the answer. The first problem I'm going to have you solve is 16 plus 21. The answer you should have got was 37, and your abacus should look like this. Did you get it? Great job. Now let's solve 27 plus 19. Your answer should be 46 and your abacus should look like this. My notes again are on the corner so you can see that. Did you get it? Well done. Lastly, let's solve 74 plus 49. The answer you should get is 123 and your abacus should look something like this. Again, my notes are in this upper corner. You've done a great job learning how to add double digit numbers with your 100 beat abacus today. If you need more help, you can go back and watch this video again, or if you click on the examples button below, I show you how I solved these example problems. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.